Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have another exciting release party from Apple. We have a new Mac OS Mojave beta version 10.14.6. We have iOS 12.4 beta one. We also have a new watchOS beta 5.3. And of course, tvOS 12.4 beta one to coincide with everything else very nicely. Anyway, in this video, I'm gonna go over some of the new things you guys need to know about iOS 12.4 and how it relates to jailbreaking. But before we do, definitely like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest Apple and jailbreaking related news. Again, definitely bookmark our iOS 12.2 to 12.3 jailbreak status checker pages. And I guess now we're going to have to update these to include an iOS 12.4 jailbreak status checker. Anyway, updates on that will be coming very soon. Let's get into today's video. So earlier this morning, right around 10 a.m., Apple has released iOS 12.4 developer beta one to registered developers. And again, if you guys are in the public beta testing program, the public beta should be coming in a few days. Now, taking a look at the release notes, there really isn't anything here just as of yet. So we really don't know if anything was patched in this update as far as jailbreaking exploits go, but we're just gonna have to assume that more things were patched from this description right here saying this beta version of iOS 12.4 contains bug fixes and improvements. Anyhow, don't expect too many new features with this update as I'm guessing Apple is holding off their new features for iOS 13. That's going to be hitting beta stages here in just about three weeks at the beginning of June. So we are so close to WWDC guys. I can't wait for iOS 13 and all of the new radical redesign and improvements it's going to bring to iOS. Now 12.4 marks the eighth update to iOS 12, the fourth major point update. So we'll really have to dive into this software and see exactly what is new in a follow-up video once I download and install it. I really just wanted to let everyone know that another beta has been released by Apple. This is probably going to be the final version of iOS 12 once it is released to the public. Anyhow, if you guys are interested in beta updates, if you don't really care about jailbreaking, definitely check out this site here called Beta Profiles. We'll link it down below in this video's description. You can easily install the developer beta profile and get your hands on iOS 12.4 today. But if you guys are interested in jailbreaking, like I said, do not update, stay on the lowest possible version of iOS 12 that you guys possibly can. Now, it doesn't look too likely that we're going to see a second round of iOS 12 jailbreaks. Like I said before, iOS 13 hits beta stages in just a few weeks. And in all likelihood, when that happens, a lot of the jailbreak developers and people that are thinking about releasing exploits and write-ups, they're probably just going to wait until iOS 13 is released to the public later this fall. So that's kind of the unfortunate news. If you guys are jailbroken, hang on to your jailbreak at all costs, basically, because it's going to be quite a few months until we receive another jailbreak. At least that's the way things are looking right now. Again, this is the jailbreaking world. Things can change on a moment's notice. So that is not certain. Really what I'm getting at is we really don't know or have any concrete information suggesting that another jailbreak is coming anytime soon for iOS 12.1.3, 12.1.4, 12.2, 12.3, or again, this brand new 12.4 beta, but that's just the way things are going right now. Again, I'm really excited to start covering iOS 13 in just a few weeks here. And in all likelihood, if an iOS 13 jailbreak ever does come out, in all likelihood, it will probably be backported to some of these newer versions of iOS 12. But again, that's going to be a long time before we see an iOS 13 jailbreak. In any case, guys, that's pretty much the gist of this video. If you guys aren't jailbroken, just stay where you're at. If you guys are losing hope, update, it's up to you, really. But just know the facts, the lower the iOS version, the better your chances are of receiving a jailbreak. Anyway, we have some more awesome videos coming later this week, so definitely stay tuned. Also, let us know down below in this video's comments what you guys want to see from us. More tweak videos, switch jailbreak videos, beta videos like this, or if you have something else that you want to suggest. 
I mean, obviously we can't make an iOS 12.2 jailbreak video because there is not an iOS 12.2 jailbreak. But aside from that, it's free game, guys. Let us know what you want to see from us down below. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, before you go, definitely like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest Apple and jailbreaking related news. Also, bookmark our jailbreak status checker pages if you guys want to be notified the second another iOS 12 jailbreak is released. When that comes, I know it's going to be kind of hard to keep checking up especially when there isn't any crazy news coming out. So if you guys just want a really simple way to stay updated when something major drops, definitely bookmark those pages. Anyway, for the very end of this video, I'll go ahead and replay my iOS 12.3 jailbreak update part, kind of going over the latest iOS 12.2 jailbreak demonstration by Keen Lab. Anyway, stick around if you have yet to see that. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Stay tuned as again, like I said, we have a lot more content coming this week. But until next time, this is Tony signing out. Anyway, let's quickly recap some of the latest jailbreak updates. Obviously, right off the bat, if you guys are wanting to jailbreak, do not update to iOS 12.3, as only more things are going to be patched as newer iOS versions come out, lessening your chances to actually receive a jailbreak for these firmwares. Now, the chances of iOS 12.1.3, 12.1.4, 12.2, or the brand new 12.3 receiving a jailbreak are very low. It's very unlikely that we're going to see a second round of iOS 12 jailbreaks before iOS 13 hits beta stages in June. And once that happens, it's entirely likely that developers may opt to just wait until iOS 13's public release this fall before releasing their undisclosed patches. Now, with that being said, nothing is certain. Things can happen at a moment's notice, which again is why we suggest everyone to bookmark our iOS 12.2 to 12.3 jailbreak status checker pages. It's much easier to push updates to this rather than record, edit, and publish an entire video. Now, the latest update that Tanner highlighted in his last jailbreak update video was Keen Labs iOS 12.2 jailbreak demonstration. Now the short version is this, Keen Lab demoed an iOS 12.2 jailbreak, highlighting the fact that it is possible to jailbreak the latest versions of iOS on the latest flagship devices because they demoed this on an iPhone XS Max. But that being said, Keen Lab's track record of releasing jailbreak utilities is zero. They've never done it before. So you guys should not update to the new firmwares or expect a release from them. Instead, the takeaway is that it's merely possible to jailbreak a previously unjailbreakable firmware and that there are zero day or undisclosed exploits that are capable of jailbreaking 12.2. So there is some hope and things can change very quickly, like we said, in the world of jailbreaking. And just because there isn't going to be a jailbreak from Keen Labs, that doesn't necessarily mean there's not going to be another iOS 12 jailbreak. We simply do not know at this time. As I said, things are not looking great for a second round of iOS 12 jailbreaks before iOS 13 beta one drops. But as I've been saying, all of that could change. And again, is the primary reason why we suggest to bookmark our jailbreak status checker pages. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this quick jailbreak update video, taking a look at the new and noteworthy features in iOS 12.3. Really, there isn't too much to choose from aside from Apple's new TV application, but if you guys use that service, you're really going to enjoy this update. Aside from that, if you guys really want to jailbreak in the near future, what should you do? Basically, just stay on the lowest version of iOS 12 that you possibly can. Do not update for any reason and just wait there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and making it to the end. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest Apple and jailbreaking related news. Anyway, we'll be back very soon with another awesome video, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.